It's that crazy Dr. Alex on this edition of My Old House and Painting Tips. What I'm doing today is a more professional type job on doors. So often you've got your door, you've got it on sawhorses, you've got your roller, you've got your brush, and it's just not perfect and you'd like to make it better. So the question is how? How to do a more professional job painting doors. So today what I have here, this is a little gun uh, available a lot of automotive stores actually and or paint stores, hardware stores. HVLP, high volume, low pressure. It has numerous functions, you have your air control, you have your amount of pressure coming in so you keep that low. I think it runs at about 40 PSI and my compressor is cranked up to 120. Another control here on the gun is the dimension of the fan. So you can narrow it right down if you're painting some trim or you can make it wider if you're painting a door. My old house, this edition of my old house and painting doors, I've mixed up the latex paint. So basically when you're doing your latex paint, I find any paint, it comes way too thick. So I dilute it just slightly with water. Uh, in this case, I made it a lot runnier. One of the main keys when you're spraying, after I've mixed the paint, I run all the paint through a strainer as I put it in the gun. And that way you know you have no particles in there. Here you can see I just have the doors propped up against the wall. And I'll be able to access each one and just spray as I go. This is the strainer, it's a mesh net. I just put that right in the cup of the sprayer, pour the paint right through it, and that way I know I have no particles in the paint. So that's the first coat on these doors here. Just like it says in the old spray cans, two light coats. So basically I kept the fan width medium. You spray all the styles and the rails. That's the frame of the door first. Just nicely. Obviously the key is no puddles, no runs. So you basically have to start at the top and work down or you can start at the bottom and work up. Either way, I generally, at doors, I start at the top and work down. Um, and then uh, you do your, so you do your frame first and then you come back and do your center panel. Nice and even and a light coat. So during the spraying I had a window open with a fan in it and another window open to let air in. So during the spraying I had a window open with a fan in it and another window open to let air in. Key painting elements, gloves, don't want to get body oil on the product, a pad sander, right, flat, flat surface, fine sandpaper, 180, 220, so you're not trying to grind down something, you're just trying to take the high spots off. Third thing I use, good old scotch Bright. Um, automotive store that sells uh, auto body products you can tear them into sections or cut them with scissors whatever uh, just with your hand I use the pad sander first to knock off high spot to flatten it down and then I hit it with the scratch bright which basically um, gives you a nice dull surface and it fills it sands out in between the high spots so those two elements keep the grease off and absolutely no silicone anywhere because if you've got silicone on your hands and you go to handle something when you spray it it'll just fish eye right away the paint will not stick those few things makes a successful paint job ready for the final now on 
doors. And as far as prep goes for the final, a flat sander, a pad sander. We're back at it again and we're finishing the last segment which is the sprayed interior doors. I can show you how these doors turned out. So here we have the finished door. Nice smooth finish, no runs, no drips, no streaks. It makes a really nice look in the house.